Hey YouTube, um, this can be a video on how to mod um, ISO, the World at War ISO, so you can do um, like uh, God mode, no clip, drop weapons, and all this other shit. Okay, what you're gonna need is the first of all is the Call of Duty World at War file, and the parts are gonna be in the description. And then what you want to do is right click and then extract files and then it will open up and then I have two files right here. The .dvd file which is one kilobyte and the actual ISO which is 7.6 gigs. Okay and what else you're going to need is IMG burn, WX360, ABGX360, code post Nazi Zombie Prototype and Common.ff, which will always um, also be in the description. Okay, first, what you want to do is open up WX360. And then File Open. Uh, go find your file. One sec. Um, go open up your your ISO folder. Let it load. Now you have to find default.xex. Right click, then extract file. Distract uh, extract it to your desktop, and then save. Now. Now what you're gonna to want to do is go to codepost.gfx.ff and then right-click replace file. Go to your desktop where you have or wherever you have your file, and replace it with the one that you have. And then what you want to go is go to common.ff, replace file. Go find the common.ff. And then let it, when it says done, go, then after that go to Nazi Zombie Prototype. Then you right click and replace file. Then go find the Nazi Zombie Prototype. And then let it uh, go till it says done. Then what you want to go do is go back to default.xex and press replace file and then go to the file that you have on your desktop that you already extracted. The one that you extracted to your desktop, go get that one, the default.xex. Let me find it right there wait till it says done and then uh, press uh, just close that then what you're going to want to do is go to ABGX360 and you're going to want to go to options uh, make sure they're all all these are checked check slash create DVD file check stealth verify if stealth passes use colors checked for any DVD style game data corruption, check for updates, check game partition CRC when needed, then go to auto fix, put on level 3, and then uh, click adjust X SSV1 angle, and then go to file, or sorry, click this over here, and get your COD World at War file. Press done, and then when when that loaded up, press launch. And then when that's done, just let it load at the bottom. It says your percentage down there. When it goes to 100%, just uh, press any button to close, and it closes. Then what you're going to want to do is go to IMG burn. Let it load.
Man, um, sorry about that, but my computer's like really slow. It's been crappy. Yeah. And then what you want to do is uh, go to tools, then go to settings. You have to go to um, right. Make sure all this is the same. And, yeah, just make sure that the, they're all the same, just for right, that's all. That's the only part that you need. And you have to copy down that code, and uh, you have to press user specified, and then put in 19113760, then press OK. Press write image file to disk, and then you select the file. And then when you go to your file with the um, the ISO file, what you're going to want to do is um, you don't click on the ISO file. There's two files. This one at the top is the one that you want. It's one kilobyte. So you click on that one. And then uh, put verify on. Write speeds 2.4x copies one and then yeah um oh and you have to make sure that you have um dual layered plus r um dvds make sure they're 8.5 gigabytes so or else the xbox won't uh recognize it and yeah thanks for um watching my video and Please subscribe to my videos and have a good day.